Lucy. Your name is? Lucy Porter. Your occupation? Podcaster and comedian. Your chosen charity? Action for Stammering Children. And your chosen subject? Victoria Wood. The great comedian actress often described as one of the greatest entertainers of her generation. Here we go. In 1970, Victoria Wood applied unsuccessfully to study drama at Manchester Polytechnic and was given a tour by a student who'd later become a close friend and frequent collaborator. What's her name? Julie Walters. Yep. In 1974, Wood appeared on a television talent show and in one of her performances sang a song entitled Lorraine about a young woman whose fiancé washes his cortina more than his neck. Which talent show was it? New Faces. Yes, Acorn Antiques is a spoof soap opera which started out as a sketch in Victoria Wood as seen on TV and went on to become a successful stage musical. It's set in which fictional town? Manchesterford. Yes, one of Wood's best-known songs is the Ballad of Barry and Frieda, also known as Let's Do It. In the lyrics, the title of which radio programme follows the words She licked her lips, she felt sublime, she switched off... Gardener's Question Time. Yes, Wood first appeared as a guest on Desert Island Discs in 1987. She said on the show there were only two lyricists she listened to. One was Ian Dury, who was the other? No Coward? Yes. Early in her career, Wood was the support act for the comedian Jasper Carrot on a nationwide tour. She came from Berry, but because she thought it sounded funnier, she asked to be introduced on stage as a girl from... Ramsbottom. Yes. Victoria Wood married the entertainer Geoffrey Durham in March 1980. She told a friend it was a five-minute job, then spaghetti on toast and knickerbocker glory. At the time, Durham performed a comedy magic act under what stage name? The Great Soprendo. Yep. In her opening monologue for the As Seen on TV special first broadcast at Christmas in 1987, Wood says this programme is what the BBC calls a special. That means it's ten minutes longer than usual and I've splashed out on a new... Bra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No passes, Lucy. You got them all right. Eight points. <laughs> What a good special. <laughs> now, you were a brownie. I was. I was going to say a good guy, but you were started out as a brownie. Yeah, my new show is called Be Prepared, which is the motto of the Scouts, of course, but ah. uh, it's about being a Scout and being a brownie and uh, about my time in the Gnomes, John. In the Gnomes? Yes. Our motto was... Here we are, the laughing gnomes, helping mother in our homes. Oh, <laughs> isn't that nice? I think they've changed that now, John. Possibly. <laughs> they've changed a lot about the brownies, haven't they? Oh, it's very modern. It's become very kind of, you know, there's a smashing the patriarchy badge now. And if you get it, then your dad has to sew it on a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> The badges were things like sewing? Yes, the hostess badge. What did you have to do for the hostess you badge? You had to make an old person a cup of tea. Whether they wanted one or not. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you have? Can you remember all the badges? Because there were an awful lot, weren't there? I was very bitter that I didn't get more, so... Uh, How many did you get? Well, I got the entertainer badge, naturally. What a surprise, yeah. I told the joke, why did the sand blush? Because the seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> were you a scout? Or a no, I have never joined anything in my life. I could see you in a woggle. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we've sorted that out. You have eight points, and the score to beat, as we speak, is 17, and if you get more than 17, you become the champion of champions. And if you fail, then maybe Zoe does. I, know. Know. I love Zoe, but I want to beat her. <laughs> I bet you do. Here we go. Two minutes, starting now. The room in a theatre or television studio where performers wait before they appear on stage or on set is named after a colour. What colour? Green. Yep, on most computer keyboards, pressing the key marked with the letters ESC cancels an operation. The letters stand for what word? Escape. Yep. In 1982, a Polish pianist bequeathed his skull to the Royal Shakespeare Company in the hope that it would be used in a live production. In 2008, David Tennant held the skull in performances of which play? Hamlet. Yep. A train known as the Reunification Express links Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City in which country in Southeast Asia? Vietnam. Yep. Chuck D. Flavor, Flav and Professor Griff are best known as members of a hip-hop group whose UK hit singles in the late 1980s included Don't Believe the Hype and Fight the Power. What group? Public Enemy. Yep. Which fitness coach was awarded an MBE in 2020 after he raised more than half a million pounds for NHS charities with his online workouts? No, oh, Joe Wicks. Yeah. An archaic English name for the Italian city of Livorno is also the name of a breed of chicken. What chicken? Uh, the leghorn. Yes, a pair of American outlaws who were also lovers were described by the gangster John Dillinger as punks who gave bank robbing a bad name. They were killed in an ambush in Louisiana in May 1934. Who were they? Bonnie and Clyde. 
Yes, the adjective gastric refers to which organ of the human body? The stomach. Yep. Which vast Asian mountain system gets its name from a Sanskrit word that means abode of snow? Uh, the Himalayas. Yes, the 2018 film Bumblebee is the sixth instalment of a film franchise which was inspired by a range of children's toys. What franchise? Transformers. Yes, the father of a racehorse is known as his sire. What's the corresponding term for its mother? Meh. Damn. Which British athlete won a gold medal in the long jump at the 2012 Olympics and went on to win the 2019 series of Celebrity MasterChef? Jonathan Edwards. Greg Rutherford. Which politician announced the birth of her grandson Michael in 1989 with the words, We have become a grandmother? Margaret Thatcher. Yes, a white sauce usually made with milk, butter, flour and seasoning is named after a steward to King Louis XIV and is traditionally considered to be one of the mother sauces of French cuisine. What sauce? Bechamel. Is correct. Lucy, you had no passes. You have done it. 21 points. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Final scores in fourth place with 15 points. Miles, third place with 16 points. Neil, second place with 17 points. Zoe, and she raced away with it in first place with 21 points. Lucy, which means Lucy takes home the trophy and is tonight's champion of champions. Are you going to keep it with all your brownie badges and things? I'll sew it onto a dress, <laughs> somehow. Many congratulations, and you, at home, do not have to... This is such a proud moment. I do actually host a quizzing podcast called Fingers on Buzzers. We interview famous people related to quiz, so you know who I'm going to get, right? John Humphreys. He will be mine. <laughs> <laughs>